Oh, Pete, wait till you hear what movie Deb dragged me to last night. Mike the Magician. Oh, I thought they was going to be doing car tricks and sawing people in half. The only thing he's making disappear was people's pants. Oh, it wasn't two minutes into the movie, and that Chandler Tating's walking around with his butt out. Oh, I tell you, I was hoping Magic Mike could teleport me the hell out of there. Oh, just imagine Flashdance with a lot less curves and a lot more guys. I'm just glad the movie wasn't in 3D. You know, for a second, I thought maybe he's doing that stripping to pay for his magic school. Nope, just songs, bums, and dancing. I says, what's next? David Copperfield gonna work the pole. Penn and Teller gonna give lap dances. Every five seconds, these guys are taking their clothes off. I look over, Deb sweating. This is the same woman who gave me crap one day for looking through the Victoria's Secret catalog. You want me to look like that? No, I don't, Deb. That underwear costs fifty dollars a pair. I'll buy you ten packs of Hanes. And then all the women in there are like hooting and hollering like they're actually at the strip club. One ran up and was kissing the screen. Oh, I swear a couple of them probably got pregnant just by watching that movie. And then Linda says all the girls should go to that club. I says, yeah, right, Linda, what are you going to stuff down her pants? Entertainment book coupons. You know, I should have known something was up, because I was the only guy in that whole joint. Except I seen a couple of them fellas work down at Linda's hair salon. You know, that Chandler Tatum, he was in that G.I. Joe movie. But in this one, he's dealing with a whole different type of cobra. Deb says he's also in that Step Up movie. I says, why don't you step up to Kmart's and buy some normal underwear? All their thongs are made out of the American flag. You ain't allowed to let the flag touch the ground. But they go ahead and let Mike wrap his junk in it. So Mike's big dream is to make furniture. I doubt Mr. Ikea got his start this way. I don't know, there was a part with some drugs, a sister, and more guys' butts. I was done. And then Deb says that Schwarzenegger and Stallone went shirtless in all their old movies. I says, yeah, Deb, but they were doing something interesting. Killing guys. So then this girl I seen in there took her grandma. I says, you're going to give that old woman a heart attack. Back in her day, guys wore swimsuits like they as wrestlers. Deb starts giving me this look as we're leaving, okay? Oh, last time I seen that look, we ended up with Magic Mandy. Man, she couldn't get me home fast enough after that movie. Oh, I tell you, I was blowing stop signs going way past the speed limit. Yeah, I'm taking her again to see it tonight, no doubt.